Hello, friends, and welcome to Coffee and Conversation. Encouragement, coming from the Gordon Avenue Baptist Church in Adel, Georgia. And friend, there's no better place to find encouragement than in the light of God's holy and precious Word. Let me invite you today to pick up your copy of God's Word, the precious Holy Bible. Turn with me over to the book of Colossians. Today we'll be in Colossians chapter 3. I want us to look at verse number 2 as our text verse of Scripture. Get that good fresh cup of hot coffee. Let's sit together, have an encounter with God and His precious Word on this beautiful day. Well, amen. There's just not a better way to get a brand new day started than a good fresh cup of hot coffee. And more important than that, getting a fresh glimpse into the Word of Almighty God. Well, in Colossians chapter 3, verse 2, listen to what the Bible says here. The Bible uh, speaks to us and says, Set your affection on things above and not on the things of the earth. Set your affections on things above. Today, friend, I want to bring to you a thought that is titled, Trusting in God's Truth. Trusting in God's Truth. You know, as we begin to think about setting our affections on things above, Perhaps the deepest yearning of your heart is to know God, to worship God, to serve God, and to please Him with everything in you. Now, before you trusted Jesus Christ as your Savior, you probably had trouble with anger, fear, lust, greed, or maybe some other sin. Now, even with the great victory that Jesus has given you, you are easily depressed because of the failings of your flesh. We still live in this old fleshy body. So what in the world can you do? Well, you commit yourself, my friend, to Bible study, to prayer, memorizing and writing on the tablet of your heart every scripture possible reading books about those things that you may be struggling with. You do all of these things, but yet nothing seems to work. Temporary victories almost always lead to eventual relapse of falling back into sinful living. Now, it's very frustrating. The circle just resolves, or revolves, rather, and, and regret just continues to eat away at your soul. Friend, listen, understand that your struggle isn't just about improving your behavior, but it's also about renewing your mind, changing how and what you think. I tell people all the time, the greatest problems that we have is stinking thinking. Stinking thinking we got to get our mind into gear. God must completely replace your thought life with a brand new thought life, His thought life. Now, that takes not only time, but acknowledging that God is right even when you disagree with Him. Friend, don't be wise in your own eyes. Trust in God's truth. Trust in the truth of the Lord Jesus Christ to set you free from the bondage of sin. Examine your response to the Lord and submit yourself to whatever He shows you. He'll never show you anything contrary to the Word of God. I think Paul really hit it right when he said, Set your affections on things above. Too many times we get wrapped up in the things of this world. You need to understand and realize that you're no longer of this world when you get saved by the grace of God. You may live in this world, 
But this world is no longer your home. Your home is heaven. And as you live day by day, set your affections on things above. There's times that we all have to stop and just pray, God, forgive me for deciding that I'm always right and you're not. And help me to accept your truth fully and set my affections on things above so that I can win the victory over sin that still that still tries to so easily beset me. All human beings that's ever been saved by the grace of God still have to deal with living in these old fleshy bodies. Paul himself made the statement, those things that I ought to do, I don't do, and the things that I ought not to do, those are the things that I do. So he had to deal with this old fleshy body, this old fleshy body himself. And he was a mighty man of God, wrote most of the New Testament. Friend, it's never easy, but always realize you can't do it by yourself. You need Jesus to help you to set your affections on things above. Trust God's truth and lean not to your understanding, and you can start singing, Victory is mine today in Jesus. Let's pray. Father, we thank you for your word and uh, how truthful it is. May we never try to gleam and look at living through the eyes of someone else except Jesus. Lord, show us your way. Teach us the way that we need to go. And then give us enough good common sense to follow your pathway because it's the right way. In Jesus' name, amen. Well, friend, I pray the devotion's been a blessing to you today. It certainly reached into my life and reminded me that sometimes, uh, while I may not set my affections where they should be, that I should always stop and cry out, God, here am I. Help me set my affections on the things above. Friend, your life could be the only Bible that some will ever see or hear from. So let others see and hear Jesus in what you say and in what you do. God bless you. Have a wonderful day.